Hi! The beautiful infographic poster you will learn to create today in PowerPoint looks like this. Let me zoom in so you can clearly see how the infographic elements are laid out. This is the zoomed in version. As you can see, it's a beautiful layout and you can use it in your blogs or if you want to pin it in your Pinterest account, you can do that. You can animate this and you can save it as a video and post it as a video pin in your Pinterest account provided you have a business Pinterest account. You can even print it out and hand it over to your people so they can pin it on their desks so they can remember the key points of your training and so on. So let us learn how to create this beautiful infographic poster in PowerPoint from scratch. If you look closely, there are only three elements that we are using here. One is this text element. Second is this icon element that we got from PowerPoint. And the third is this simple design that we have used. So we are able to differentiate the various bullet points visually. So let us jump right in and start designing the poster. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of comprehensive all-in-one PowerPoint bundle, a collection of more than 4,500 premium animated PowerPoint templates that help you create beautiful and engaging presentations in minutes. First, we need to create a custom slide size so we are able to have our infographic just the way we want in terms of the dimensions. For that, let us go to design, go to slide size and say custom slide size. By default, the orientation of PowerPoint slides is landscape. Let us change that to portrait and you can say OK. Now, this default dimension of 9 is to 16 in the portrait is just the right one that you can use for your Pinterest pins. However, for infographic posters, the usual dimensions are 800 is to 2000 pixels. So we are going to input those dimensions here. Now you can see that we have the measurement units as centimeters and not as pixels. So how do we convert that? We go to our google.com and search for pixel to centimeter conversion. This is the first site that came to me and it is unitconverters.net. Here I entered 800 and it gave me the units in centimeter. So it is 21.17. So let me go to the dimensions here and say 21.17. Now what is it for 2000 pixels? I can enter the value here. It is 52.92. So once again, let us go back to our PowerPoint and say 52.92 and we say OK. We say ensure fit. Now we have a perfect poster size for our infographic. The next step is to create the beautiful design element that allows us to separate the various bullet points. For that, let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery. From Lines, let us pick up this one called as the Curve Tool and then let us create a curve like so. You don't really have to be very precise with the way the waves are shown here. Just draw something very organically and then make sure that the wave is fairly wide and then you create some kind of a rough shape and then click at the start so you're able to create a shape like so. Make sure that this wave is not too acute so it is important to flatten it out. Now that is a very good level. Then we want to rotate this slightly like so so we are able to create some extra space on the left and then we will have a narrow space on the right so that is what we are going for. Let us select this. Press Ctrl D to create a duplicate. Go to rotate or you can go to arrange here and see the rotate here and say flip vertical and then place it over here like this. Can you see here? We are almost creating a conical shape here. Now let us fill this with some kind of odd shape. So let us go here, pick up this polygon tool or freeform shape and then let us just fill the empty space that is around here and then let us select all of them. Go to shape format, merge shapes and say shape union. Now you can see what we have got here is a messy blob. We are not really concerned about that. We are going to cut this to size with a rectangle. So let us go to Auto Shapes Gallery once again, pick up the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle so it covers this edge to edge like this. You can see that the width of this rectangle is 21.17 which means it is of the proper dimension. Now first select the shape at the back hold the shift button down and then select the rectangle. Then go to shape format, merge shapes and say shape intersect. That is it. 
now we have this beautiful shape created we can select this go to shape outline and say no outline and you can see that the width is 21.17 centimeters perfect let us change the color to teal color like so and then place it over here we are operating all this by clicking on this option here called fit slide to current window because that allows us to work with the entire slide view very easily now let us take a copy of this by pressing ctrl d that creates a duplicate and then let us go to rotate and say flip horizontal and place it over here and then let us select this one press ctrl d and then place it over here now i just want you to eyeball it so there is equal amount of space and there is no real right or wrong the more organic you keep it the better it is excellent this looks like a pretty decent arrangement then let us signify the beginning and the end of the poster with a rectangular bar like so once again the width is 21.17 centimeters go to shape fill fill it with the same teal color go to shape outline and say no outline create a duplicate of this by pressing ctrl d and place it to the bottom edge perfect now everything about the poster is created just to make sure that none of these change their position let us select everything press ctrl g to group it then right click you can cut it right click format background and paste it as picture or texture fill picture source as clipboard perfect now even if you want to you will not be able to move this it is a beautiful solution let us close this now we can focus on placing our text elements on this now let us write our title for this poster now to help you save some time i have copied the text from my previous poster and here i am pasting it let us work with this a little closely so we can zoom in nicely like so and then go here the title for this infographic poster is six tips for better list slides i always make sure that i have this subtitle text to give a little more insight into the topic i personally prefer to use a thicker font for the title and a thinner font for the subtitle let us add the remaining text here i have copied the text from my previous poster now there are two options you have in the wider area you can stick your icons and then in the narrower area you can have your text or you can go the other way around if you see in my previous poster i ensured that the wider area is covered with text and then on the narrower side i included an icon like this so for a change let us do it the opposite way now if you observe closely i ensured that there is not too much text on the poster now the whole point of an infographic poster is not for the audience to read reams of text these are just the key points that you want to highlight so that is the reason why we ensure that the explanation is just two sentences long and we have a clear title like this so this is the first tip the second tip the third one of course we need to ensure that they are all placed properly now let me go to fit slide to current window and that all of these are aligned properly to the right like this here now the same way i ensure that all of these text elements are aligned to the left and then are aligned left like so positionally as well now i am quite happy with the text elements now it is time for us to insert the icons on the left once again to save time i am just copying and pasting the icons from the previous poster i can place this right in the center this is a different design now if you see my earlier poster you would notice that these icons are placed slightly off this separator and this is just for the visual appeal at the end of the day do what feels right to you now here i notice that the font color is not much in contrast to the background so we need to make sure that the contrast is increased so let us select this and change the font color to white now this is much more visible so let us do the same for the remaining ones as well wherever there is a darker background now when i zoom in i can always see if the readability is there yeah it is perfect now the poster is nicely designed let us go back once again to the full view you can select these elements press ctrl g to group them and then you can animate them let us do that right away i'm ensuring that even the icons are included in the grouping and then let us have them all wipe 
from one direction to the other. So let us go to animations and say wipe animation from left. Let us go to animation pane and it is going to happen all on click. So each click will bring in one point. Now these ones need to be wiping from right. So we are going to change the direction by going to effect options. Now when I go to slideshow, this is the blank poster. Now this design definitely would arouse curiosity in the minds of the audience. And then on a click, we introduce each of the elements like this with custom animation. Once you have everything in place, you can go to file, go to export, and then go to create a video. And then you can save it as a full HD video and create video. So you can pin it as a video pin in Pinterest, provided you have the business Pinterest account. Or you don't need to have any of these animations. You can just save this as a PNG. For that, let us go to file save as go to desktop or wherever you want to save it and save the file type as png and then give it a name say infographic poster and then you save it and it will ask you whether you want to convert everything or just this slide i'm going to say just this one now this is saved as a png image now let me create a new slide and insert the png image let us have this as a blank layout we don't really need any of these go to insert pictures this device let us go to desktop and let us search for the infographic poster this is the one and we say insert now we have this beautiful png image available for us to post on our blog or if you want to have a printout taken we can do so so we can give that as a handout for our participants creating an infographic is a much more visual and more interesting way to present your bullet point list if you want to learn how to create creative bullet point list infographic in powerpoint you can watch this youtube video tutorial I will queue it up at the end of this presentation. And if you like my teaching style and you want to master PowerPoint, then a good option for you is to join our Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program. I will leave a link to this page in the description box below the video as well. You can click on the link, come to this page and explore all the details about this program. In the meantime, you can click on the link here and watch this video so you can learn another way to create creative bullet point list infographic in PowerPoint. I'll see you in the next video.